in Michigan, the cost of building or renovating public school facilities remains the full responsibility of that district's tax base. But what happens to students across the state when their district's property values are not high enough to ensure that its schools are safe and adequate for learning? The ACLU of Michigan set out across the state from Hamtramck to Rudyard to talk to the folks who are dealing with the everyday challenges of a state funding formula that relies solely on local revenue for school facilities. It's just, it's hot and muggy, it's tiring. And we don't have money to buy air conditioning. I either put a teacher in front of the kid or an air conditioner. And it's not even enough. I'd end up having to get rid of most of my teachers to air condition a building. Did you see the floor that the sixth grade teacher has almost twisted her, or broken her ankle on twice today? <laughs> there is asbestos in our floor tile. But you've seen my, you've seen yeah. the amount of water that comes yeah. out and when it rains in the fall. I will have a mop bucket in my room and I will have to mop every 15 minutes. I'm a five bucket room. What are you? Ugly in there. The bathroom area in there has garbage bag over one year, garbage bag over one sink. Well, I took last year's budget of half, <clears throat> half of one new bus when bought three used buses. Now we don't get a new bus. You know, like call it one year. My bus just quit alongside the road. And it was like five degrees out. You know, I jump in a bus here, and I'm half an hour before I get to them. I, I think just you just look at the amount of plaster that's falling down everywhere. Well, if you turn on the lights at the the bright lights at the auditorium, you, it looks like it's a real first snowfall. These are our electrical transformers are failing at the high school. You had to replace them, no other choice. If they, if they fail completely, then your high school's without power. Everyone's just battling to make ends meet. We're landlocked and we're, you know, we've got all of these districts around us that have the 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 beach frontage goes for what linear strung pearls go for, yeah. you know, and so they've got that for a tax base. Our buildings are tired. And it's not that we don't take care of our building. I mean, we're in here, we're not dirty. Oh, I'm everything here. Building principal, I'm the maintenance, technology, lunchroom. And you know, it's a shell game. We're trying to push our kids, you know, we're these 21st century learners. They already come from an impoverished background. They shouldn't have to come to a school. We're not impoverished, we just don't have the funds to move us up.